I am traveling. I am at the last, last rest stop in Missouri, and I am on my way to Indiana. Um, I'm an Indiana girl that lives in Southwest Missouri. I'm Indiana born and a lot bred in Northern Indiana. And I am excited to get back home for a little bit. And even though I love Indiana, I am thinking that my daddy moved us to the most gorgeous part of the world. I love the Ozarks. I am not fond of the heat, but nothing lasts forever. Everything has its season. So anyway, I am traveling, so it's a little noisy, and I apologize for that. But I thought that I would show you just a little bit of what I have been doing. Um, I started not to actually show this crap because it is so ridiculously simple, but I had a lot of crap. I, I hate to call it crap. It's stuff. And it's my stuff and I like it. But I had r run out of places to kind of display it. And so I had come up with this little solution. Um, I had priced some risers and different display trays and stuff and they were just not cost effective. They were just really exorbitant. And so I did this little project and I was like, whoa, these are really cute. And I had had my things displayed on it in the summertime. And then when I started decorating for fall, I used them again and I was like, these are really actually kind of handy. So I thought I would show them to you because that's everything about my channel is budget friendly crafting. So come craft with me. I'm going to get on the road and you can watch what I did. I had two of these three by three stretch canvas frames that I had taken the canvas off for another project, but they were so pretty underneath that I had just stuck stuck them aside and I thought I would use them for another project and lo and behold it's this project so I laid some jumbo wood craft sticks end over end and just hot glued them to the back side of the canvas frame I pulled eight wooden beads out of my stash and I collect wooden beads from every different project i save them because you never know when you're going to need them and i so i have all different sizes and i will buy a little bag on clearance or i will save them off of a wood sign because wooden beads are just golden and so i hot glued two together and i did four groupings of these two little wood beads and then I put them on either side of this wooden frame. I believe that the size that I used were 10 millimeter sized wood beads for this. And they made the perfect size for little legs for my riser. And it just lifted it up just enough to give it just enough height and they were absolutely adorable. I loved how this looked. For my second riser, I used tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. I used 16 blocks all together and I just glued the two ends together and then I just did that in the groupings of eight. So I was concerned because I wanted this riser to be a little bit higher. I was concerned that it would be a little bit wobbly because the tumbling tower blocks were a lot taller. And so my solution to this was to put one on either side of the frame so that it would have some stability. So I glued one on each corner and then I ran a little bead of hot glue and 
between the two and then I held that until the hot glue dried and it actually worked very well. It was very secure and this did not wobble at all and I was actually able to put some pretty substantial pieces on these little risers and they're very sturdy, believe it or not. I love it when one of my ideas works. Before I get to painting, I want to take a minute and welcome all my new subscribers. I have made it to one of the most important stops in my trip, and that is to the White Castle. One of my friends asked, overheard someone asking me where I was going on vacation, and he said, don't let her fool you. She's going to the White Castle because, so I have my crib case right here. We don't have those in my area, and I was raised on these little gut burgers. They were I think 15 cents when I was little bitty and by the time I was a teenager they were 25 cents they are not 25 cents now but they are still my favorite so Eureka Missouri is the first stop of my journey and I always hit the White Castle entering and leaving the area because I always get a case and take them home. And so, anywho, before I get to painting, I just wanted to say, hey, my name is Rebecca. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. And I am just so happy to take you along on all of these wacky little crafting adventures that I go on. And I will probably show you some of the things that I have planned for my little vacation. Um, a lot of Dollar Trees, um, a lot of, there is a big festival in my hometown of Plymouth, Indiana, and it's the largest four day festival in the state. And there are over 300 craft booths. So I am hoping to find a lot, a lot of inspiration over the Labor Day weekend. So let's get to finishing this project. I am going to use Waverly Chalk Paint in the color of Ivory and I am going to give this just a rough coat of this chalk paint. I am not going to worry about it being covered completely and I am going to do both risers in this and I am going to just give it and let the wood show up through it because I'm not going to worry about covering it completely because I like it when the wood comes up through it and I like that look. If you like a more finished look, then you can put it as many coats and cover it as much as you want. But I kind of like that rustic look and so that is how I choose to do things. I did go ahead and do the bottom of my risers now I will tell you I don't think I mentioned this before I did use the wood hot glue for these risers I found that this is a very good bond and I use it a lot when I'm using the wood um, craft projects and you can use regular hot glue. I'm sure it would work very well, but I've really become very fond of the wood hot glue sticks. And so anyway, I just gave these two risers a really good rough coat of this Waverly chalk paint with my sponge brush. And I did kind of get down in the grooves a little bit, but not very much because I really didn't think that it was necessary and I do like that kind of wood coming and peeking up through and this has a lot of little nooks and crannies with the little beaded feet and the wood block legs and all of the little craft sticks and so it's really kind of hard to get in all of the little nooks and crannies so it's easier to really achieve more of a rustic look um, with this project and more of a finished unfinished look so to speak than to really you know just do a lot of heavy 
duty painting. I also try to keep in mind that not everybody's decor style is the same. Everybody's taste is different. So this is just an inspiration piece. This is just an idea. And you can just take this and make your own special piece. I took some Waverly antique wax on a paper towel, a damp paper towel, and then I just went over it to give the lighter wood that was coming through the chalk paint a little deeper color on top, and I just kind of brushed the darker antique wax over the top of that to give it a little bit more depth to my paint colors and make it look a little bit more rustic and i was really pleased with how these little risers turned out and i really like that rustic look but that is not everybody's taste i realize that but anyhow you do you and this is just an inspiration piece so that is how i chose to do this and i was really happy with the outcome i am going to show you how i styled my little trays for the summer and for the fall but before i do i just wanted to let you know i am in the middle of illinois i am going through st elmo and my grandparents pastored in st elmo they were pastoring in St. Elmo when I was actually born, and they made lifelong friends, and so we took several trips back to St. Elmo. Now, my grandparents were Hoosiers. My grandpa was born in Brown County, Indiana, and my grandmother was born in Indianapolis, and so when they were through with their pastorate, they, um, they moved back to Indiana, but they were Hoosiers, but they spent a lot of time in St. Elmo, and they made lifelong friends. So this is kind of a little part of a sentimental journey. And I passed Pocahontas back there, and that always makes me chuckle when I see the Powhatan Hotel sign. It's been up for years and years, and my sister met me there because she was going to take my son for a couple of weeks of his little summer vacation, and uh, she spent the night. And she's I got her, you know, met her, and she said, "Oh, sister, something." really unfortunate happened in that hotel there was blood on the wall somebody was stabbed or shot or they were shooting up something really unfortunate or something that shouldn't be going on what had happened in that hotel room and she said and hey, nobody had any key of course Pocahontas is the hometown of Gretchen Wilson the um, country music star so anyhow the Powhatan Hotel sign always makes me chuckle and unfortunately I think that that's a family trait because I have found myself in very similar situations and drug my friends along with me um, down those really cuckoo roads as well so anyway let me show you how I styled my little risers and then the next time I see you, I will be at the Indiana State Line. I had these risers out for my summer tablescape. And as you can see, I managed to put some very good size pieces on them. They were sturdy and they looked so good. And I absolutely was delighted when I got them out for fall that they really brightened up my fall displays and they really showed off my fall goodies. So I am very pleased with these risers. I am on the last leg of my journey. I am back home again in Indiana. I hope that you've enjoyed this different kind of craft with me, travel with me style vlog that I have done. And thank you and welcome to all my new subscribers. I am so excited to be home for a little while, a few days. My grandpa always, when we were traveling, he'd say, roll your window down, roll your window down. When we'd hit the Indiana state line, he'd say, oh, that air just smells sweeter in Indiana. So anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell so that you know when I've uploaded my next video. Give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching Crafts, Lasts, and Chaos.
thought I was going to end my video, but I thought I would just give you a little brief excerpt of my trip once I hit the Indiana State Line. I ended up, my GPS is just crazy boots, and it took me through several farmers' cornfields and a lovely um, bridge that was one lane with um, wood, uh, two of them, and somebody's backyard, and I don't know, a road closure that I ended up on a detour that detoured me back to the road closure. So anyway, that is life. Sometimes you just, you know, you just have to roll with it. But I did see some beautiful country and I did see a lot of things that I had never seen before. So that is my trip to Indiana. I am almost there and I am so grateful. Anyhow, Thank you for watching Crafts Lost in Chaos.